You know, this show's kind of a big deal now. We even have our own tech-linked hype squad. <gasps> Jesse, wait, wait, where are the rest of them? The, you're not, we have one person, that's not. <sighs> AMD released a new version of Radeon software on Tuesday that brought support for Team Red's long-awaited Fidelity FX super resolution technology, which is supposed to help increase frame rates in games with minimal sacrifices to quality. Isn't that how things normally work when you just change the settings? And according to our very own Anthony, FSR basically succeeds. 4K ultra quality looks the best, while at lower qualities, things start to look a little mushy. But the technology is free for anyone to implement, so hopefully we see the tech improve over time as it's included in games that people will actually play and not Godfall. Unfortunately, this release came alongside AMD dropping support for Radeon GPUs older than the 400 series, as well as Windows 7 and any 32-bit versions of that same operating system. Ah, right when FSR may have made some old GPUs viable again. There's something going on here. I think these companies want us to buy new things instead of keeping old things forever. But they won't let us buy the new things. Yeah, <laughs> it has to make sense. Microsoft has become the second company in the world to reach a $2 trillion market cap after Apple hit the milestone first back in August. Stop this train. So please yeah. stop. And no, it's not because of Xbox Games Pass, even though that's awesome. It's because of growing demand for the company's Azure cloud services during the pandemic, which is all very interesting, but I'd rather talk about the Xbox stuff because Microsoft has begun rolling out Series X hardware for use in Xbox cloud gaming, as noticed by users who found new high quality options in certain games. Now you can appreciate the prettier graphics as you die in game because your character threw a grenade a full second too late. The latency isn't you that have, bad. You got Stadia baggage, don't you? Yeah, it's just I you tested them all, they weren't that bad. The latency You're okay. But for Xbox players who prefer playing off the physical console, Microsoft also announced three designed for Xbox monitors for from Philips, Asus, and Acer, which will work great with an Xbox and a PS5 and a PC, and basically anything because they're but monitors. they're designed for X. They have Xbox badges. They're very fancy. Thank you very much. Yep. And John McAfee, the notorious creator of the McAfee antivirus software and international man of mystery, has reportedly been found dead in the Barcelona prison where he was being held. <laughs> Did you not hear this? The local justice department indicated it was likely a suicide, but the story is taking on an Epstein-esque quality, with many theorizing that McAfee may still be alive. The news broke mere hours after a Spanish court had approved McAfee's extradition back to the US for tax evasion charges, and McAfee has previously Previously claimed that in the future, if it ever looks like he killed himself, it was probably the government. He also faked a heart attack in Guatemala one time to escape the authority, so who knows what the heck is going on. If I ever die, it would lie. <laughs> the meme lord may be gone, but the meme lives on. Hold on, I gotta change my shirt real quick. Bitcoin one million. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by a different way to get a quick dose of the news, Morning Brew. Ah. It's a free daily newsletter delivered right to your virtual door every weekday, combining everything happening in the business, finance, and tech space into a super easy to consume format. It's like what coffee does for caffeine. You see how the name, see, see the analogy here? With Morning Brew, you don't need to go looking for news because it's already looking for you in your Morning Brew daily newsletter. While I understand you come to us for tech news and to find out whether we've run out of intro ideas yet, this is a whole nother thing and I promise I won't be offended. It takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe, so do that for free at the link below. <sighs> ah, delicious. Every episode, there's one quick bit that I keep for myself. In the past, the EU has prioritized protecting users from companies that collect their data, but now they're investigating Google's Flock system because it allows Google to hide user data from other advertisers. Well, which is it, Europe? I guess the deal is that if your data is going to be collected, then it has to be collected equally by all parties. I'm sorry, we have to send these nudes to the whole county. It's only fair. Equal distribution. If you're tired of Google's hijinks, you might wanna try out Brave Search, which was just launched by the makers of the privacy-focused Brave Browser and is based on Brave's own index of the web, independent from Google's. Although if Brave Search can't find what you're looking for, it might still pull from other engines, including Bing. So just be aware you may have that on your conscience. 
interacting with Bing in any way. Bada bing, bada bing. Bada bingity. Epic Games has made its easy anti-cheat and cross-platform voice chat services available for free to all developers, even if they release their games on Steam. Free games, free services, epic strategy for dominance seems to involve waving free things in front of, in everyone's face until they finally like you. And it might pay off, although it seems like the free thing that Apple got was a lawsuit. That ain't free. That costs a lot. Square Enix has fixed a bizarre bug in Marvel's Avengers that displayed the IP addresses of PlayStation 5 players on screen, which would make live streaming the game somewhat dangerous if anyone was streaming Marvel's Avengers. I've got some zingers today. They're not great, but it's unlike me. And Nvidia has released Canvas, its AI powered app that generates photorealistic landscape images from disgustingly simple doodles, barely resembling images. You'll need an RTX GPU to use the app if you're looking for a way to get a false sense of accomplishment. I drew that. I'm gonna put no, my you didn't. toddler's art on the fridge <laughs> and press the other parent. See, that would be nice because it's a toddler. Hmm, I guess that's the use case. You totally finished watching this episode. Nice job. Yeah, come on back on Friday for more tech news and the TechLink Hype Squad will cheer you on even more. Man, we went from one to zero. This is just, it's going downhill here, okay.